Hey, so uh, apparently my camera was having some issues recording during this, so I am going to do a voiceover for the first time. Uh, this is a fry box exchange that I did with my friend Susan in a swap group I'm in. And let's see. So I'm having some issues getting the paper off. It was taped very well, if you can't tell. <laughs> so, yeah, this was my first exchange I've ever actually done. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I had fun making hers. And uh, just the anticipation of what would you receive. And I was saying here that I actually think it's the same oatmeal box I sent her fry box in. Because um, I had folded it the same way. And she taped it very well though. I'll give her that much. Alright. And I'm looking at my goodies. So much in there. So it looks like it's definitely kind of like a blue thing. Alright, so we're just kind of pulling out all the goodies. Let's see. There was a lot of little tiny pieces stuck in the bottom of the box. Some like little butterflies and flowers and stuff. Alright, so I think I've rescued all my little butterflies and stuff. Here's a little vial with some googly eyes in it. I like the little vial. Don't know what I'll use it for yet, but it's cute. And then, let's see. Some paper lace, which is always handy. Some colored paper clips. Some blue bling. I love anything sparkly. <laughs> and let's see. There's like a little bag that I think all the little stuff must have fallen out of. Uh, there's a clothespin with a little decoration. Um, that one, it looks like the decoration came off. But I'll just stick something on it. And some foam hearts and some little chipboard circles. And some other little ephemera. There's a little purple flower. Another little clothespin. A little dog. And these are like snowflake brads. It has a um, different colors. <laughs> and there's a little blue flower. I really like that one. It's like shiny. Uh, some unicorn uh, die cuts, but the male kind of destroyed a couple of them, but I'll figure out how to fix them up. Here I'm trying to fix some of the brads. And I really like these. I'm not sure which journal I'll use them in yet, but I like the snowflake design. That's really cool. I'm just still trying to fix them up. There's a blue one, a white one, and there's like a dark blue, and a button. <laughs> And some little tiny butterflies. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I must have dropped something. <laughs> Alright, and some more snowflakes. Then I found 
these little planner tags. Um, I was saying I have a planner, a happy planner, but I am awful about remembering. I need a plan to put stuff in my planner, basically. I am just one of the most unorganized people you will ever meet. And here is like a little flower spiral thing. It's pretty cool. And then here's my thank you letter from my friend. Oh, actually, first I'm showing you the cake. Uh, it's kind of like a, a doily, but it's like a, it feels almost like a sticker. It's definitely very thick, but I'll probably use that in somebody's birthday card. And then my thank you card. And I read that off camera. And she's such a sweetheart. I love Miss Susan. And then here's a tiny blue envelope. Which I'm always on the hunt for little envelopes. Um, this is like a piece of a card. It's really, really soft. Um, and it has like a marble look to it, and I love it. It's so soft. <laughs> I was thinking it might be like one of those marble shaving cream pieces, but I'm not 100% sure. And then she also sent some embossed paper. A couple of them said like, get well soon. Because um, I had been in the hospital for a couple days. So she sent me those. That one has hearts. I think that was another get well soon. And then here, this one has some um, like street names in New York City. This black one. And uh, then a yellow one has different letters that you can kind of cut out and use. Maybe color the letter itself. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find a use for it though. Because I, I don't have an embossing machine, so. I definitely feel lucky when my friends send me stuff like that. And some more stuff in the box that actually stayed. Uh, some more little planner things. Uh, this kind of reminded me of a bookmark. Um, or just could be a journaling tag. Has some washi tape on the side. Really pretty. And then uh, another piece of embossed paper had like arrows on it. Uh, some more unicorns. Those ones survived a little better I think because they stayed in the box. And they're definitely pretty. I like the purple one. Purple is my favorite color. So I'm definitely trying to salvage that one. Oh yes, and then this little tag is super cute. Um, it said a, a treasure from the sea. And then there were some more little pieces stuck down in the bottom, like a button. And it looked like the front of the fry box had another jewel on it. But I found it down in the bottom of the box, unfortunately. USPS can just be brutal. <laughs> Sorry if my chair is squeaking. I need a new chair. <laughs> Alright, so there's like a little puffy ball, some more chipboard circles. And I love the little box. It's a very pretty color. And it's got some bling and a little cross on it. Definitely my style. So even though we not, haven't known each other long, we've talked enough that I feel like she actually gets me. <laughs> but... And then I found this little, uh, it almost looks like a scroll, but it's like a piece of vinyl or maybe like a thick sticker. I'm not sure exactly, but I know I'll find a use for it. I love using little scrappy pieces. So that is what I received in my fry box exchange from Miss Susan. I loved it. I loved all the little pieces and the little handmade parts especially the embossed paper because that's something I can't make myself right now so I want to thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you liked this video and I'm gonna try and upload another 
video from a Etsy purchase I made so be on the lookout for that and I'll also be doing another junk journal update soon so like and subscribe and thank you for watching bye